Hello, my name is Michael and today I'm going to explain to you what is Colorboard and what you can do with this collaborative online whiteboard application. First of all, Colorboard is an online whiteboard and a real-time collaboration solution. It provides to you an infinite virtual whiteboard space on which you can brainstorm, plan, strategize, mind map and do many more things in online meetings and online workshops. The core concept of Colorboard is to invite others to collaborate. And there are different options. So basically, if you want to invite somebody to your Colorboard project, you will find here uh, an invite button where you can share your project. And then you can share a link. You can add license-free guest users and you have different options to create a real secure sharing experience. So for example here I can invite registered people or guests and for everybody I can choose the permission they have initially when they access the board. Of course I can change this afterwards. And then for security reasons I have here the option to say how long the link is valid and I have also the option to protect the board with a password. Usually when we invite people, we require that they identify themselves, so this means they add their name. But if you want to have people without their name on the board, you can also disable that. In this case, it's slightly easy. You just um, select the permissions, generate a link, share this via chat or put this to the Outlook invite, and you retain these, just click on the link and in a few seconds they join your board to collaborate with you together. Now, when we think about collaboration on an online whiteboard, with what elements do we work here? So, first of all, in Colorboard we can add notes. So, there are different kinds of sticky notes and you do everything here over this menu on the left side. So, if you want to add a note, you can select a squared note or you can also choose a rectangle. You can add one or even five or ten at the same time and you have two options. If you just click on the color, the note will appear on the center of your board or you can also drag and drop the note to this location where you want to have it. Of course, you can group the notes, you can change uh, the, the font, you can change the color afterwards and so on. And in Colorboard, you have really the, the option to choose any color you like. So here is a color picker. You can even get colors just from any element on the board or you can use your own color code. That's one of the most used features. This is just the digital sticky notes. Now, Colorboard is an online whiteboard. So this means we can draw and sketch. And the philosophy of Colorboard is to provide you these tools you also know from the real world. So you can choose here between five different pens. You have a nib. You have also a highlighter, a brush, a normal pen or a pencil and they all emulate different kinds of inking and dependent on what you do, you can be very artistic with Colorboard or you can just use the highlighter to uh, highlight important things on documents and so on. Now the next element we can put to the board is documents. So here we have the option to import a few kinds of documents, so we can import PDFs, we can import Word file, PowerPoint and Excel. So what you can do, you can just drag and drop them from your um, file system to Colorboard or also here over this uh, menu you can browse your files and add a document to your board. In our case here I added a PDF and what we can do now is we can browse through the pages of the PDF and there is also an option to extract here the content. So let's say we would like to extract this second page or the first page. So we can just click here. Now let's say we want to extract page 1 to 3. And we just click here on extract pages. And now we get all the pages of the documents and we can start to work on that. In this case we might choose the, the highlighter. So we can really mark now the important things or we can just choose here also the, the normal pen to do some annotations and this really allows us to, uh, to communicate visually. 
Now next to the documents, there is also the option to add images to Colorboard. So uh, you can of course upload the images from your file system. Uh, Colorboard allows you to take pictures with your camera. So if you're using your laptop or your tablet, you can just uh, take pictures from there. And there is as well an integrated web search. So if you want to use this, you can just click here on the search the web. And uh, let's search shortly after Colorboard. And in this case, we get now a lot of images from the web and we can just uh, drag and drop them to the canvas if we want to use them. An image already says more than a thousand words and with images we can really add cool content to our online whiteboard. But more than a thousand images says a, a, a video. And this is why we also allow you to add videos directly to the board. So there is an integrated YouTube search. This means you can search YouTube directly from within Colorboard and then drag and drop these videos directly on the board. Of course, you can also upload your videos from the device. And what's very cool, you can also record videos directly. So in this case, you can use the camera of your device or tablet or whatever, and you can add video messages, you can add video stories directly to the board. And this means from this simple online whiteboard character, Colorboard really develops into a real-time visual workspace where you add all these different medias to collaborate on. Next to the videos, we also have the option to add shapes. So in Colorboard, we provide you 216 different standard shapes you can use for many different purposes. So you see here also on this menu on the left, you can uh, use here these different shapes. You can either just drag and drop them from here, or you can open the panel with all the shapes options. And you see that for every shape, you can define the color you would like to have. So you can completely adjust this to your needs. You can add your own branding. And this makes it very useful to work with uh, shapes here on, on Colorboard. If you have your own set of shapes, for example, as SVG files, then you can add them as well just by uploading them as an image to, to Colorboard itself. Now, next to the shapes, we also have the option to embed web content to Colorboard. So this means we can add websites directly to the board. And um, if we do this here, we just need to enter the URL. And as soon as we do that, we see here we have a fully working website directly on our board itself, which we can uh, click through and use for, for different purposes. So that's something very useful and very cool, because in this case, you embed a website directly into the online whiteboard itself. Now, having all these elements on the board, we can do many things, but uh, there is one very important feature that allows us to bring everything together. In Colorboard, there are connections. So this means you can create mind maps, you can create affinity maps, org charts, or whatever, by just basically connecting any element on the board with another one. And uh, you can do this very easily. So you just uh, select here an element, and then usually you see these four, four circles around it. And now in this case, we can just uh, grab the connection and put it to the next element. And you see now this connection looks a little bit different. So we have a lot of different options to adjust these connections based on our needs. So in case you would like to make it a little bit uh, thicker, we can just click here. We can also change the color and really apply, uh, really adjust this based on our needs. And when you start with Colorboard, you don't need to start empty. There are over 50 templates that support you in many different uh, business processes, in working agile, doing retro meetings. And to add a template, just click here on the left side, where you get this uh, selection of beautiful templates you can use for your work. And you can also adjust them and really use them as a starting point to adjust them based on your needs. And these are all the basic features on Colorboard on this huge infinite canvas. So if you want to learn more what you can do with the advanced version of Colorboard, have a look at the next video where we will show you the specific features for trainers, facilitators and teachers and how you can use them to do even better online meetings and workshops. Thanks for watching.